Lily. Hi. Okay. Buns. Buns everywhere. Hey, look, the sun's come out. Hey, son. What's up? I'm just editing a video right now, but the sky is looking pretty epic. It's the first bit of blue I've seen all day. Nice. Guys, this is so insane. This is so nuts. I made an Amazon wish list like three, three or four days ago. This arrived. A chest mount for my GoPro from Amy in America. Thank you, Amy. Jessalyn sent me two two new batteries for my camera because I always need batteries. This arrived today. It's a green screen. <laughs> it's a green screen onesie. This is from Edward. Thank you, Edward. And then this beast arrived as well. This is so insane. Oh, wow. Who's this from, first of all? Give out of the pen. Amy in America. Hang on a second. Amy Lyle. It's from the same person that sent me the GoPro mount. What the heck, Amy? Amy, <laughs> thank you. Are you gonna make me cry? I've never owned a tripod before. And, uh, <laughs> you yeah, know, I have one. I've been doing YouTube for eight years and I've never owned a tripod. I've used tripods, but I've never owned one. <sighs> nice. Yeah, cool. There we go. This feels so nice. It's super lightweight. Maybe a couple pounds. No more looking for things to balance my camera on. I can just stand it anywhere now. I mean, I guess taller than me. <laughs> Whoa. What the heck? <laughs> I can film up there now. <laughs> so we are moving from this guy to, <laughs> to this thing. What the heck? <laughs> Alright, this is look <laughs> at what the heck? <laughs> Hello up there. <laughs> Welcome to eye level. Now we can talk properly. <laughs> I can film anywhere now. Like I can stand this in a river, put like a counterweight on the bottom and just like talk in a river. That'd be that'd be that'd be fun. Never done to do that before. Amy, thank you so much. Like everybody that bought me something, like you guys are awesome. <laughs> I really appreciate it. It's been like this for about a week. Just kind of this mist and cloud. It's very draining, but uh, I'm kind of enjoying it now. I love the color scheme, like the deep, deep greens. You can tell that everything, everything is coming back to life after being kind of scorched for a while. At the beginning of this month, I was complaining about <laughs> the fact that Wales isn't getting any rain, and it's unusual. And yeah, now the rains have all come back. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's back to normal. All my theories about the weather has kind of gone out the window. I'm very tired. I'm not sleeping enough. I was doing a lot of backflips on a trampoline yesterday, so I think that's really like drained me. Came out here to do some reading because I I'm in the mood for some reading. <laughs> Vlogging with hiccups is the worst. <laughs> Got some little mushrooms coming in. They're not to be mistaken. They look very similar to Liberty Caps, but they are not Liberty Caps. Ooh. Obviously it's the wrong time of year. So even with all the rain, there is no river. <laughs> this is usually like a small stream that comes down, and there's just nothing. I just don't understand where all the moisture is going. Is it being sucked into the trees because they, have, they haven't had any for so long? This is this rock. I like this rock a lot. It sits alone. It is a nice rock. So I really just came out here to read. That's all I wanted to do today. I'm reading LSD, My Problem Child. I've been reading the same book for like two years because I don't read very often. I'm always inspired when I read these things. I need time to kind of digest the chapters because there's a lot that goes on in this book. It was written by Albert Hoffman, the guy that made LSD. What up dudes? I now have a tripod. This is my first time using it outside. It is amazing. It's eye level with me and I can film anywhere now. Ah, oh. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, it's my favorite plant. <laughs> Yesterday I didn't manage to get outside at all. 
Today, this is my first time coming outside. The reason for that is it hasn't stopped raining in Wales. I know I was complaining a few weeks ago about there being no rain. Well, I didn't actually want rain to come. I was just confused why there wasn't any. Now everything's back to normal, and now I can't go outside to film. So, <laughs> I'll take any opportunity I can to get outside and film. But yesterday I wanted to film a video for my main channel about religion, and I didn't manage to do it. So what I was going to do is ask you guys here on the second channel to leave some questions about Mormonism. So, if you didn't know, I was born into Mormonism. I got baptized at age 8, and I never really left. I just stopped attending the Sunday service. So. If you have any questions about, if you guys have any questions about Mormonism, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I'm, I'm going to post this today so that I can have use those comments tomorrow for when I film the video. So even if it's raining, I want to film the video outside. I don't like filming indoors. What I'll probably do is like bring an umbrella with me or something, and then just sit under it. So you'll see that tomorrow. But yeah, any questions you guys have about Mormonism or my relationship with it? Just, I have quite a complicated and extensive relationship with Mormonism, so I have a lot to say, and I want to give my thoughts. It's not going to be a video of me bashing it. I'm not saying like why I left, because I haven't really left. I just want to give my, my thoughts. Because when you're born into something, you don't have to stick with it. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Please leave in the comments. Talk comments. I can't talk today. I, have, I didn't vlog yesterday, so it's weird. Please leave in the comments. It is raining heavy now. Crap. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a walk. Bring you guys with me. I might have to put you in my bag though, because you're getting very wet. You guys have no idea how exciting just having angles like this is. I've been using a tripod that big for a couple years now. <sighs> Feels good. Right, so I'm aware that the video I made yesterday wasn't up to some people's stand. I was merely experimenting with the green screen suit that somebody sent me. It just happened to arrive the same day as Belle Delphine made a comeback. She hasn't been on the internet for a year. I like Belle Delphine a lot. I think what she's doing with the internet is revolutionary. She's doing things in a way, she's making money in a way that people just haven't done before. She's like making fun of people and then eating out of their wallets. Like, it's genius. She's just one of one of my favorite memes. I'm a big fan of memes. I know I don't incorporate them much into my own videos, but I'm a big fan of memes. And just having her back is it's like a breath of fresh air for the internet right now because it's just too serious. So yeah, I know my reaction wasn't like a reaction. I am aware. It was meant to be a joke. It was meant to be like satire. So like I pretend not to react to this thing while my on the inside I'm going nuts. Like if you haven't seen the video, go watch it. It's, it's me reacting to Belle Delphine's new video. That video at three in the morning yesterday. And then for the rest of the day I was pretty, pretty beat. I was so tired. So I didn't go out and film and it was raining anyway, so it's just this weather is not like the best. I'm doing the best I can. In Wales right now I still can't go five miles away from my home without getting in trouble with the police. So without risking getting in trouble. I know I know I'm probably not gonna get in trouble, but it's just like there's still that risk that I just don't want when I'm trying to move around the country. I'm doing the best I can. My channel is a travel channel. This channel specifically. I go places, I explore and I do things. I'm stuck in lockdown at the moment and I'm doing the best I can, especially given the weather. Like I'm doing the best I can. I live in Wales. It's wet a lot. I was lucky for the first few weeks of doing these daily videos that I had good weather. Now I don't. So I'm doing the best I can and if that means I have to stay indoors and film a reaction to something, that's what I'm gonna have to do. And that's what I want to do. I'm making things that I want to make. I'm making what I want to make. And anyway, I got this, I mentioned this on, I highlighted this on Instagram and I got a, lo a bunch of lovely, lovely messages as a result. But I wanted to read it to you guys just so you guys are aware of what some people out there think while I'm doing all of this. I asked in my story, what did you guys think of my video? We have two crying face emojis. <sighs> this very serious lady said, seriously disappointed in the content lately. It's only been either you talking about yourself or your unasked opinions on women. I don't remember ever making a video about women or my opinions of women. Really been considering unfollowing lately, but haven't because it's, I've been a fan since your emo days. Where's the nature? Adventure. I want lockdown. <laughs> Where's the peace? I don't think that I'm very aggressive, aggressive in these videos. I feel like I'm rather calm and I bring a presence of peace to you. That's what I'm here for. Not another privileged boy jerking off in the mirror. <sighs> she doesn't sound like a very peaceful person, first of all, so I don't know why she's seeking out peace. Doesn't seem like that's what she wants. Yeah, she said disappointed in the content lately. She didn't really specify the Delphine video. She said late. I know that I'm not supposed to react to hate comments, but for some reason that one got me. Just because it's, it's very unusual. She's been around since the emo day, so she doesn't want to unfollow. It just sounds like she's holding on to my past. Why are you holding on to my past? The emo 
period of my life was like three years. There's been like five, six years after that time. Like if you're still holding on for like the emo videos to come back, they're not coming back. I've grown up. I've grown out of that whole era of my life. I realize that I can't try and please that crowd of people if there are even more of them. I'm sure there are more. People share that opinion. I'm doing the best I can, guys. I have a budget of zero of negative. My equipment, half my equipment is donated by you beautiful people. I'm on lockdown, I can't go anywhere. My car's in Birmingham. But what should I make? That's that's the question, that's why I'm bringing this up. It's like, what, what should I make? While it's raining in Wales, what should I make? I got a GoPro chest mount in the mail and I really want to go climb some trees for you guys. I haven't climbed trees in weeks because it's wet. It's very dangerous to climb wet trees. Yeah, I, I appreciate the like 50 responses I got after that. People were very nice and building me back up again, so I appreciate it, guys. Uh, but yeah, I feel like she just hasn't been watching my videos, because I'm in nature every chance I get. That's, I like to film outside. She maybe missed them all? It's nice though, hey? It's nice being outside again. <laughs> I was indoors for a whole day yesterday. I just wanted to update. I'm not sure what this video is yet. I, I'm gonna be outside for a while, until it starts raining again, so we'll just talk. But I, I wanted to say I feel much better after a couple of days I wasn't feeling so good. I'm not sure what it was. I think it's a mixture of kind of the realization that lockdown is probably not gonna get lifted this year and the kind of impending doom <laughs> of not being able to see any friends and a combination of not exercising enough. Like I really should be out in the rain anyway. And also the humidity. The humidity was really pressing down on my chest for some reason. But getting quite a lot of chest pains this week and I, I'm not sure why. It's quite concerning. There's also a pain right here in my shin. And there's like a lump there and I'm not sure what it is. It's not a bruise. Uh, I bruised my knee the other day, but that's that's getting better. My back kind of hurts because I was doing a lot of backflips on a trampoline. I would like to make a video trying to land a backflip outdoors. That's going to be one of my tasks for this 30 days of videos. I haven't landed one on flat ground before. I've done it on trampolines and like bounce pads and all sorts of stuff. I've done it assisted as well. Someone kind of goes whoop. But I've never landed one myself and it's, it's one of my goals in life. I want to be able to backflip. Like, how cool would it be if I could just talk and just go Hit, ah! The fear is still in my mind. Even though I know that nothing can really go wrong, obviously I can land it badly, but I've practiced enough flips to know that I can do it. So yeah, that'll be, that'll be a video all in itself, just trying to land my first backflip unassisted on flat ground. Um, but yeah, I feel much better. I feel much, much better than I did a few days ago. I'm just kind of excited for July. It seems like June I might stay in Wales. I think I've made the decision, because you know how at the beginning of the week I was talking about whether or not I should go to England, pick up a car and go, go travel or go, go hike. I think I'm going to hold off until July because it sounds like July things might get a bit easier. The UK just hasn't lifted restrictions whatsoever. Wales hasn't anyway. England, people can move around and I can't. So when restrictions are lifted slightly more, I'm going to go out because I know there'll be a second wave and everyone has to go back inside again. So I want to get out during that chance that I get. Let's go, for a, let's go for a wonder. Now that I've got this, I can go anywhere and film. I it's so great. <laughs> I love this thing. <laughs> Jaspi is the star of the show. Come. Come. Oh, I have to jump down. <laughs> it's a nice tree, hey? I really love this tree because it's it's covered in moss, it's laying down, every branch is still alive, like everything is still living, and it's just become this lying down tree. It's so great. Dude, tomorrow is the summer solstice. I wanted to go see a friend, but I don't know if I, I'm going to, because the weather just sucks. I was going to camp with him, and I don't know if I even want to anymore. I might still do it, I don't know. We'll see you tomorrow. take you guys on more adventures but uh i think i've i've kind of used up all the good ones in this area i, I need now to travel further further outside of my bubble does this work <laughs> yeah you guys are at the end of my tripod my mind is kind of quiet today so i really have nothing to share and i'm kind of hungry so why don't we just go and cook some so basically everything you're seeing right now this is all my back garden pretty much this is the forest right behind my my garden and uh, no one comes out here, so I just use it off myself. And I'm basically just following sheep trails most of the time, because there's obviously no human trails. 
And yeah, every day it's different because all the plants are constantly growing and shifting and changing and things move, trees fall down, it's so great. What I love most about nature is just the fact that it is constantly evolving, constantly changing. When you go outside into nature, it's not going to be the same for the next person that comes along because twigs will fall, branches will snap, plants will move and grow and change. Like this forest looks different each each season of the year because different plants come in. Like all the bluebirds have died off and now the ferns are coming in. And yeah, just constantly evolving. This is where I'm quarantined too. So there's not, <laughs> there's not a whole lot of stuff to play with here. But you guys know that I want to be out in, in the world filming like elephants, monkeys and stuff. Exploring places I've never been before. And that's kind of what I'm so excited about is when this is all over, I can go to new countries. Bring you guys along with me. Hey, your mushroom family. All right guys, I'm just, just about to get home. And I just had like a significant thought about the weed industry. I thought, why is smoking weed so popular and eating weed not so popular? And then I thought that there's so much utensils and accessories and items that you need to smoke weed. There's papers, there's filters, there's lighters, there's rolling trays, there's grinders, there's bongs, pipes, dab rigs, blow torches, and then obviously the flower itself, but there's so much stuff that goes into it. And then I thought, why is it so popular? And that's because like there's so many different industries, different companies that want your money. It's not just about weed, it's about all the stuff that you need to smoke it. Maybe that's why it's pushed so hard in popular culture, is all these different accessory companies need your money. So now it all really makes sense to me. There, there is no edible industry, because there's, anyone can make an edible. But the thing with smoking it is that not everyone knows how to make rolling papers or lighters. So they have to buy that stuff. That's, that's on top of the price of weed. So it makes sense. Weed's pushed so hard in pop culture. By who? Who's doing it? Who's paying for the advertising? Because you don't really need to advertise weed, but you need to advertise people smoking it. I think smoking ads are illegal, so they have to pay people in other ways. Is this a conspiracy? I think, does this make sense? There's so much money in the accessories for smoking weed. Like, to me, it's never made, I've never smoked weed, by the way. I've never smoked it, I've only ever eaten it. And it doesn't make sense to me why people want to light their drugs on fire. When you don't need to. You can compress it down, you can, you can bake it and eat it. There's so many ways to consume weed, orally, that give you far different results. But people still burn it, and then it all goes up in smoke. You don't even get to consume all that smoke. It's such a waste. <laughs> Doesn't really make any sense. It doesn't last as long as it's not as potent. Why do people do it? And it's so expensive. Weed smokers, if you're out there, why are you wasting all your money? <laughs> you, could, you don't have to burn it. <laughs> Is it a conspiracy? What am I... Does anyone understand what I'm saying anymore? <laughs> Alright, so I've been getting packages all week. Basically everything on my, my wish list, Amazon wish list, has been bought. Pretty much everything. What the heck? It's so strange receiving things. Justin Villegas. Hey man, been watching your videos for ages now. Love your, love your vibe and energy. Can't afford the drone right now, sadly. Don't worry. But I hope this helps anyway. If you're ever in SoCal, USA, hit me up for some dope hikes. He gave me his number. And yeah. This is the cutest thing I've <laughs> received. Oh, this is awesome. Justin, thank you. This is an unboxing. <laughs> an unribboning. Oh man, Justin, 128 gigabytes. This is a CF card, the thing that this camera uses. These things are expensive, and I currently only have 16 gigabytes and a 32 gigabytes. This little disc means I can go off grid for a week and probably not fill it. This is amazing. So I have about eight batteries now because I got some more in the mail. Yeah, thanks to Justin, I can now go off grid for a long time. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for this. This is this is crazy. Alright, so this is what I'm eating. I'm eating some bird's eye vegan meatballs. I'm eating some meat free burgers from Tesco. And I'm eating some broccoli and purple carrot bites. These are really good. Okay, 
I made food. <laughs> now, <laughs> now what do I do? Now I eat food. Yes. Now I eat food. Oh yeah, welcome to my kitchen. I don't think I've ever brought you guys in here before. It's a kitchen. 